The town of Wurenling in Canton Argau is not afraid of nuclear waste. Switzerland's five nuclear plants have stored their radioactive waste behind this forest since 2001. The local population doesn't seem to mind. Whoever produces electricity through nuclear power should also deal with the waste. The temporary storage facility has been here for a long time and I don't have a problem with it. I'm okay with it. We have a dog and I used to take it for walks around the storage plant. We are used to it here in Würdenlingen. I even know people who work there and we should just trust them to do a good job. We have vegetables growing in the garden. We all look healthy. We shouldn't keep on making a big fuss about it. The municipal authorities have an explanation for the population's positive attitude. We have good public information policies in place. We are always well informed about what goes on at the radioactive storage facility. As a member of the board of directors, I can personally represent and put forward the interests of the community. As far as safety is concerned, that's not a problem in Vuerenlingen. Our citizens feel safe. Maybe this could also be due to the fact that we are located near two nuclear power plants, Betznau and Leibstadt. This naturally leads to a certain acceptance of the issue. In Vuerenlingen, nuclear waste is not only tolerated, but also has direct economic benefits. The municipality receives around 1 million francs a year for hosting the Zwielag temporary storage facility, after tax. At the plant, Radioactive waste is processed and stored in containers for up to 50 years. Switzerland is building deep geological repositories elsewhere to host the waste for the longer term. At our storage facility, we store everything from the smallest screw to the largest fuel element. Everything that is radioactive at a nuclear power plant must be disposed of. Heini Glauser is a long-time anti-nuclear activist who has demonstrated against Betznau, the world's oldest active nuclear plant. He thinks he knows why the people in Wurenlingen are so keen on nuclear energy. If we were talking about a developing country, we would consider it corrupt. Here in Switzerland, it's of course much subtler. People work for the plant. It also provides tax revenue. People have been living beside the Betznau nuclear power plant for years and now next to the Zwielak plant. Of course, the interim storage facility is an employer and a customer for a number of businesses in our town, like for our catering services. But that doesn't mean to say that they own us. These are more like the normal synergies that a major industry player brings with it. So for now, the response to the interim storage facility has been good. Since it opened, the village has grown by a third.